Hey, what's up, folks? Jay Barino here, continuing my playthrough of Legacy of the Confederation, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. How about that last mission? That was awesome. The core concept of that map was so unique and so fun to play. Very, very interesting. I never would have imagined something like that, especially in StarCraft 1. So as I mentioned at the end of the last video, Chapter 18 is a relatively short cinematic map, uh, very similar to the epilogue of Past Purposes. And then after that, there is an, an actually rendered cinematic video. Now, it took me quite some time to get that working, and again, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, I've been quite busy this week. It's uh, the week before I'm leaving for travel for Christmas, so uh, <laughs> I'm giving myself a bit of a break, at least for today's release. Also, the day that this comes out, I'm going to see Star Wars tonight. Mm -hmm, it's going to be awesome. Anyway, uh, I did figure out how to get that, that cinematic to play. It was a bit more complex than I assumed. So I'm going to say that the time that I spent, which was not insignificant, to figure out how to get it to play to be able to record it, counts as the amount of time that these videos would normally be. So uh, I'm sorry. I apologize for the, the short length of this video, but uh, it's still going to be great nonetheless. Here we go. Dawn of Darkness. Word of the President's death devastated morales everywhere in Confed space. Cain stood among the most revered leaders in human history, and his loss left a great void in the hearts of all citizens, child and ed elder alike. Cries for vengeance and justice swept across the earth like a brush fire. The Interstellar Congress has blocked further overt action against the Zerg pending a full investigation into the events surrounding Cain's passing. Convinced that the events on Brahi resulted from miscommunication, Congress hopes to continue negotiations with the Zerg species so that we may accept their surrender and lose no more human lives in the ongoing war. Yeah, good good luck with that. I, I don't expect that. Infuriated by the verdict, Vice President Gasimova and the majority of the Confederation citizenry stand in wait, hoping the Zerg remain true to their precedents and force humanity into combat against them once more. So that's about what I expected. Again, uh, the majority of the Confederation is going to be opposed to any sort of peace that the Congress seems to be going for. So I really think there's maybe a character that we haven't been introduced yet that has been manipulating the leadership of the Confederation somewhere within Congress, perhaps even the Vice President, who is probably the person working with the Oracle. And again, I expect that maybe we just haven't met them yet, because why would anybody in the Confederation even consider taking this surrender in the first place? It kind of goes against what the Confederation was originally out to do in the first place. All right, SNN now takes you to Earth orbit for President Kane's funeral. For those of you just joining us, we are at the Galveston Moray Space Platform in Earth orbit for the President's funeral procession. From the information given to us by the First Family, the President will be out probed, a common practice when a military officer or leader is killed in the line of duty. This means the President's coffin is placed on board an automated shuttlecraft, which will have a course heading toward a star system that humanity has not yet explored. The President's most valued belongings, pictures of his wife and children, and anything important to him in life are also placed on board prior to launch. The Confederation has recalled its finest marksmen from the front lines to perform the ceremonial 21-gun salute. And they appear to be ready now. We'll broadcast again once the funeral concludes. It looks like my, my marksmen didn't quite make it to where, maybe where they needed to go. Oh, there's Gasimova. He's my prime suspect. We don't know anything about him, but I'm thinking it's him. Oh! 
Man, they're really going all out with this. Oh, and that's the that's the out probe, I see. So I guess the explanation of the out probe was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> I mean, the whole taps playing, it's a, you know, you can consider it a little campy, but you know, this campaign has not it doesn't hold back, all right? It's it's all in with everything it chooses to do. That's, you know, maybe the most uh positive thing I could say about it for sure. I mean, very very unique, it, you know. The Oracle when he originally made these cutting edge for StarCraft 1 and everything that he chose to do, he did 100%. He he went he went straight straight forward and and straight to the point with it and uh accomplished a lot. So if we're going to sit here and listen to the entirety of taps to to mourn the death of a president that is part of a custom campaign for StarCraft 1, by God, we'll do it. At the very least, we're celebrating the amount of work that went into this campaign, even if it was 15 or 16 years ago. What? What? <laughs> What is happening? We apologize for interrupting this broadcast, but SNN has received a live wire feed from Admiral Rachek on the front lines. We have confirmed the authenticity of this transmission with military cryptographers, and it is real. According to this information, Rachek has usurped control of two thirds of the fleet, including the battle platform that was the subject of last week's expose. He had only this to say. It saddens me to see the men and women we elected to represent us play God based on their own misguided opinions rather than the combined will of their constituency. All of the Confederation cries out for justice, and yet Congress forges treaties and pacts. If our leaders lack the courage and dignity to act, then I will act for them. The time to expunge the roaches from our space is now. Zerg tempted fate. Now fate will show its hand. Shit. That was actually a really cool end. I like how the music kind of warbled and got cut off. And then fucking Rachek again. I really don't think Rachek is in on any sort of grand scheme. I really just think he is like a crazy warmonger. I mean, not, I mean, in comparison to what the Confederation is, which, I mean, their prime directive was to expand imperialistically and then annihilate any Zerg that they came across. So I guess he's really just fulfilling that directive. So, in a way, you can't dislike Ratchek, I suppose, but he did stage a coup when maybe he should have just sat on his hands for a little bit longer until Congress inevitably, most likely, would have just continued the, the zeal against the Zerg anyway. Alrighty, so hey, the way this is going to go is I'm going to go ahead and cut and we're going to watch the, uh, the cinematic I have not watched it myself. Um, I just made sure that it worked, but I didn't watch it all the way through, so I'm actually quite excited to see it myself. But I don't know what's going to happen after it, so I don't know if I'm going to have like a chance to talk or if it's going to like cut to my desktop. I don't know. So we'll do like a bit of a post-mortem here, because this was the end of Episode 2 for quite some time. What happened was the Oracle uh, created a miniseries called Fallen Angel, which I will be playing next time. It's five missions, or it's four missions with a fifth secret one. I don't know if I need to do something special to find it, so maybe someone can clue me in now before I get too far into it and then I'm scrambling to figure it out at the last minute. Um, so I'm going to be playing those five missions, and then there's missions 19, 20, and 21, which take place after. So there's still eight, mini eight missions after this. I quite look forward to them, but then we'll be, we'll be done with the original Legacy of the Confederation. Alrighty, let's go ahead and, and cut to that awesome cinematic. Tied up and twisted, gnarled and knotted with wrinkles, haggardly firm and unyielding, his eyes glowing like coals that still glow in the ashes of ruin, untottering Ahab stood forth in the clearness of the morn, lifting his splintered helmet of a brow to the fair girl's forehead of heaven. Admiral Raichi, please come to the bridge. Computer. Music off. Control 
This is Delta Leader requesting permission to land. Delta Leader, this is Control. You better get in quick, boys. The barn door's closing. It's gonna get mighty hot out there in a minute. Sir, what are your orders, sir? Fire! Char was rendered lifeless by the Confederation's antimatter streams. Estimated Zerg casualties 1.6 billion. Per Rachek's orders, the battle platform and renegade confed fleet now move towards the Dominion throne world of Korhal. Estimated time of arrival, five days. I think that's actually the Oracle's production company for these campaigns, but hot damn. Wow, that was uh, quite impressive. Quite impressive to the point of it being professional production value for the time it was made, which was, I assume the year 2000 maybe 2001 i'm not i'm really not sure maybe even as far back as 99 i'm not entirely clear on that but uh very very cool and that's uh that's where we're going to leave off now until we start fallen angel next time but i hope you enjoyed that now we have immortalized the legacy of the confederation cinematic on youtube so now it's here where people can see it without having to extract the a bink video file without sound, but then record the full screen version with sound and then mix them together and line it up. That's that's what I had to do. It was it was quite time consuming. Um, I don't know why I couldn't get the sound file extracted. I could only get the video video file, but I could watch the whole thing full screen, so I but I couldn't record the full screen, so I recorded the full screen with the sound and then just stuck them together after I could watch the video in a windowed version. Alrighty, well there was no reason I had to explain that, but I did because I spent a lot of time doing it. So you better appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.